Imagine being a university student, brimming with excitement and anticipation, ready to take on the world. Picture yourself as heavy, a young man whose life has just taken an unexpected turn when he receives a full tuition grant. A joyous occasion indeed. Now imagine moving into a university dormitory where the commandant introduces you to your new roommates, Ivan and Alexander. Ivan, a technological whiz, is always hidden behind his laptop, while Alexander, friendly and outgoing, quickly becomes a close companion. You and Alexander decide to celebrate your good fortune with a visit to the supermarket. There, you're joined by Maxim, a charismatic individual with a knack for diplomacy. However, during this seemingly mundane trip, something extraordinary happens. When you see an African-American for the first time, you're so overwhelmed that you vomit on his shoes. Maxime, with his diplomatic prowess, manages to smooth things over. Now, as evening descends, you and your new friends indulge in a harmless pastime of making prank calls. But an unexpected callback sends a chill down your spine. In a panicked response, you accidentally knock a curtain rod onto your head, and suddenly, you're not heavy anymore. You're now Steve, a completely different personality. Steve, unlike Heavy, is fearless and confrontational. He hears threats over the phone and, instead of being scared, he challenges the caller to a fight in the park opposite the dormitory. Donning Ivan's leather jacket, Steve heads out into the night. In the park, four menacing figures await Steve. But Steve is not one to back down. He fights with all his might, leaving the four figures battered and bruised. The park, once a peaceful green space, is now a battlefield filled with fallen adversaries. Passers-by, taken aback by the sight, call for an ambulance. As dawn breaks, Steve, covered in blood and victorious, returns to the dormitory. In a dramatic turn of events, he touches the same curtain rod that triggered his transformation. And suddenly, he's heavy again. But what will happen next? Will Heavy remember what Steve has done? Or will he wake up, oblivious to the chaos that unfolded the night before? And most importantly, who else resides within Heavy, waiting for their moment to surface? Only time will tell.